Hey, it's Kevin again from Pork Pie Hatters. Uh, it's freezing today in New York and uh, a little slow. We just opened up, so I figured we'd uh, steam up a hat. So uh, what we've got here is, uh, well, basically a lot of people have been sending in comments saying that they're buying good quality, good brand hats uh, that are on eBay or thrift shops and they're a little bit dented up, you know, maybe that they have like a, a dent here another dent there, you know, and something like this. So it comes to them like this, maybe something like, like that. All right, we're taking the hat and we're messing it up a little bit more just to show you, okay. So, you know, this is a very nice quality hat. It's old, it's very old actually. It's been worn, you know, for years and years and years and years. It's uh, been stiffened and, you know, rained on just tons of times. All kinds of work's been done on it as far as being reshaped. And uh, it's definitely a challenge. Um, but what I'm trying to show you here is that, you know, you definitely can do this stuff at home. Um, although it's, it's more difficult, um, you know, I'd be glad to do it here for you. It's always free if you send me your hat. But um, you can do it as long as you have a good source of steam. And you're very, very careful. Um, you've always got to keep the hat between you and the steam. Because uh, a beginner's mistake is uh, getting burned. And uh, I did it plenty of times in the early days. So uh, what you want to do is just be very careful of the steam. And uh, keep the steam away from the inside leather bands. Because that will destroy the leather uh, in a heartbeat. It could happen in a matter of a, a second or a half a second. So it's best not to steam the inside of a hat ever. Don't listen to anybody who says, okay, now I'm gonna steam the inside and sanitize the inside and uh, do this and that and this and that. It's basically somebody who's just, think they know what they're doing and they just don't really know what they're doing. Okay, if there's no leather band in there, it's a lot less harmful, but um, it's a good practice not to do it. It's just not necessary if you're hand blocking a hat. Steam it on the outside. The underside of the brim, this side, but you don't have to go in there. Um, now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to clean the hat. I'm going to take off all the lint, some of this here packing tape. Oops. You don't want to steam a dusty hat. You certainly do not want to stiffen a dusty hat. If you're spraying anything on a hat, it's got to be cleaned and dusted like this. Alright, I don't know if I really need to stiffen this hat. It's probably been sprayed once or twice. The best way to tell is just to feel it. If it feels too floppy, then you're in trouble. You need to uh, stiffen it. If it feels like there's a little bit of body to it, uh, then, you know, maybe it's okay. You don't have to steam it because the steam itself will reconstitute that, uh, that stiffener. Uh, the rule is always steam the crown first, the brim last. All right. Um, I like to steam the little wrinkles out of the band. Uh, you can see there's stuff here. That right there comes from stacking hats improperly. This stuff will steam right out. Um, I like to just hit that right away because it's easy. Put the steam as close to it as possible without touching the band, but just almost touching it. Get it all over the spots that need it. And then just either use your finger or use a brush, a brim brush, and just brush out, brush upward one direction. Get rid of those wrinkles on the band. Go around. It's just easy to do, so do it first if you'd like. Now the crown. Punch everything out in the crown, just get it open. The idea is you want to get this shape spherical. You want to get all the dents and ripples out of the shape so that it's cylindrical going around and sort of spherical on top. You know, my geometry uh, can use some work, but you get what I'm saying. You want it to be round, sort of like a barrel, and the top should be just evenly round as well. No little stretched out things, no dents. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling the hat towards me on this form. You can use 
styrofoam head, a hat block, or these antique hat stretchers, steel hat stretchers off of eBay are very good. A lot of times they're made by a company called Garve, G-A-R-V-E, Garve Electric. They make these steel hat stretchers. You could look up on eBay, antique hat stretcher, antique steel hat stretcher, steel hat stretcher, or Garve hat stretcher, G-A-R-V-E. Um, they stretch, sometimes they open up by cranking them. A lot of them plug in and heat up. This one does neither because it's just old and broken, but it doesn't matter to me because I never use those features. Um, I use other types of hat stretchers. I use wooden hat stretchers because they come in different widths. Sometimes I like to stretch a hat oval or, you know, more wider. So I prefer a wooden hat stretcher. Okay, the band is steamed for the most part. It does work better with the brush works better than your fingers, so let's say use use a brush if you can. Brush up. All right. Crown is nice. Looks pretty good. Next, I'm going to steam a center crease. So I'm steaming everywhere that a center crease would be, plus a little bit on the margins of the center crease. You want the steam to be every place that you're creasing. Don't crease anything without steam as the rule. And get it symmetrical. Okay. And dense out. Starting in the middle and pulling towards each end. Kind of like starting there and going outwards. Okay. That's what I just did. I'm going to put my hands on the inside and try to fix that up just by looking at it at a bird's eye view. You want everything to be some kind of going on the inside and manipulating that shape. So it's just a little bit more even. Sometimes you'll get it, you know, really, really well and you don't have to fix it much. But I like to adjust it on the inside. And when it's all finished, I hit it with steam to lock that shape in further and to get rid of all the little wrinkles. It kind of just opens up all the little creases and wrinkles and makes everything look smooth. Okay. Yeah, see, it's a nice, smooth, graceful crease. All right, all right. Next, make sure you've got the front and the back of the hat situated. It's another very common beginner's mistake, uh, one that I made many, many a times, uh, especially in my first days of doing this, but I still make it occasionally. Um, you'll pinch the wrong side of the hat, the back, instead of the front. So just feel on the inside or look and make sure you, you know where the front and the back the hat is. The rule is 90% of the time this little bow is on the left side. Now, it's going to be on the left side of a guy's head. If it's a lady's fedora, they put it on the right side. But, uh, yeah. And you can look inside the hat. There's always a seam in the back. A seam or a bow and a seam. Okay, so I'm going to put two fingers on the inside of the pinch. And then I'm going to pull back the pinches like this. Going about, I don't know, a few millimeters from the top, I start next to the top, pull back. So that area there is my two fingers. Now I look at it from a bird's eye view, and I want that pinch to end about halfway down the crown on both sides. So again, with my fingers inside, I'm fixing the shape by looking at it at a bird's eye view. I want the two pinches to be symmetrical, to end in the same place, and I look at the front of the hat, and I want the middle pinches to be symmetrical so that it doesn't make my face or my hat look crooked. Okay, now, that's all done. If I want to lower it, I can lower just the tip of the hat, maybe the last inch of it or half inch I bring down in the front, but I'm going to wait till it cools. You don't want to oversteam the hat. You've got to let each area cool before you start the next area. Okay, now let's start the brim. You're going to do each section at a time. You start the front. I'm steaming the entire front to the brim. The inside part, the edge of the brim, the middle. Treating the whole front of the hat like it's a plane. And I'm going to just put it down and get the edge of the table softly like that. And use the table as a straight edge. Let me see if I can move this camera a little bit. You can actually see this. Steaming. Okay, there we go. 
hats it. Hold the hat level to the floor and just let it dry. Use the table as a straight edge. Let's see how it looks. Oh, that's pretty darn good. That's pretty straight. It was very, very ripply before. Let's do the back. I don't know if you remember, but this hat was really ripply in the brim. Make sure everything is steamed. It's got to be completely softened, and then it's got to completely cool before you move the hat away. Okay, just the weight of the hat. I'm using my hand to smooth it out. I'm not pushing. You don't want to flatten the brim. You want to keep that curve, that scoop. That's it. Now I just let it dry by keeping it perfectly still. I don't know, I maybe count to ten, like two times or three times when it's cool. Then I move it. I pick it up. This is what I just did. Okay, now we get the sides. The sides are still a little crooked. And the insides, I'm pushing it down so that there's a little more curve to the brim. Lay it down just the weight of the hat, smooth it out against the straight edge. Let it dry and keep the hat perfectly still as it dries. Just let it cool. Keep it away from the steam as it cools. You could even put a fan on this area that's touching the hat. Okay, now the last side. This is the fourth portion of the hat. Look at the front, the back. One side is the last side. Straighten it out, just using the weight of the hat. Maybe a tiny bit of pressure, but very, very little though. Okay. That is darn, darn, darn good. Still got a nice snap to the brim. Let's see, the worst thing about this hat is the bands. This is not even a real band. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's a homemade kind of thing that I just glued on. So I'm not expecting a lot from that. The wrinkles and stuff do bother me a little. There's one big wrinkle in the band. Right there, let's see if we'll get that out. And that's that. This hat is done. Thanks a lot, guys.